What's up guys, this is Rick Slight signing and welcome to Tekken 6. Now this guy, look at all the characters we've got to choose here. I believe there is 8 times 5. That is 41 characters right there guys. So we are here for 41 days only, so that's an entire month and 10 days. So let's start off with Kuma. Did I do that right? Yes? Good. Get ready for the next I'm playing arcade version because you get more fights and if I did the actual tournament kind of thing I'd have to lock all the characters in the tournament mode which takes forever because you got to do the campaign and get unlock out all these fucking specific little characters which is quite annoying to do so. I don't know what difficulty I'm on. It's Tekken 6 so I don't fucking know how this is going to turn out. It depends really. Because it really really does. See, you may think like, oh my god, you're only a first down, you suck at this, but in second six when you're playing offline mode, you can't go above the first down. I don't know why they did that. I think they wanted to be like more online gameplay and then people didn't do it. So when they went to Tekken Tag 2, they changed it by saying, you know what, you can do this again like you did in Tekken 5. And still use two different systems, which is fantastic. Get ready for I'm not one for online gameplay because there's people out there who are really good at the game. And they can just destroy me instantly. So I don't kind of want to do that. And all the characters in this look fucking unique. They look fucking crisp. They look beautiful. And plus there's like, I think there's like 11 rounds in the arcade mode. So this is probably like the longest Tekken videos I'll ever do maybe. Well, unless we talk about Tekken Tech 2. Which is I don't know whether to do that in single player mode yet. Or dual or um, tag mode. I do not know yet. I'd like to do it single mode. Because then it's easier to like fill through all the endings. But at the same time, I'll decide that when I get to it. You'll notice something in this game as well, because I've played this a lot, is the fact that um, there is like, all the characters will either have, a, um, have a, a black costume or a white costume, and most of the time I'll be using the fucking black costume. If not, it'll be a yellow maybe, if I have a yellow one. I know some of them do have yellow, I don't know, some of them just have like, a flipping um, tap out kind of thing. You know like the clothing brand, if it's a clothing brand, I don't fucking know. You know the clothing that says tap out on it, that kind of shit. Which is great, but I'm just glad that I'm actually doing this now. It's some, I'm surprised I'm just off with the bear, to be honest. But you know what, I, I always do them left to right and then left to right again. So... Got a lot of characters to go through, so we've got Panda after we've got Panda tomorrow as well, so. Nice way to kick off Tekken 6. I will try and customize my characters as best I can before I do a fight, if they are customizable obviously. Because not I won't be doing it at all times, of course. But um Sometimes I can, like while with a least you'll notice a difference with laws, you may notice a difference. I know with Mokujin you will, because I think I've got some better than Mokujin as well. There is two characters in this game that do not have character endings. And those two characters is Lisa and Lars. I will still play them, no matter what. But obviously there's no ending, because their endings and all their storyline is in the scenario the mode. But I won't be doing that today, or this round with Tekken 6. I'll probably come back to it in the future maybe, I don't plan to though. Considering one of the like fights towards the end is really, really, really hard to do, but oh well, nothing we can do about that. I don't know where the intermission level is, which is a fighting a fucking giant ass robot. I, I, I want to plan and fight it with some characters or beat it with some characters, or get some fucking shit ton of money from it so I can customize with that, which is great. Apparently, I was told to use um. Oh, first lock. I was told to use grapples. Of course, it also does this for me as well, but I can do that with different characters, like switch between costumes. Because I would do that anyway if I lost and had to reselect him. But obviously I didn't have that option in Tekken 5, because why the fuck not? Oh well, nothing I can do there. Then. And that's one more lost Kuma. It's really cool because I'm not going to get as raised in this one because I know some players... What, what difficulty are we on anyway? Easy, okay. That might be alright for Kuma. It might not be alright for Steve. Because Steve is still my freaking one bomb. 
Yeah, in the last Tekken, um, in the Kuma video with Tekken 5, I said apparently the grabs are really good with the bears, but I've not noticed no significant difference when I played with them. Butt bouncers, however, now that's the shit to go. <laughs> I'm gonna have a fucking butt bounce there and just send him flying. Nice. There's some new characters in this game as well, which I do like playing, which is fantastic. Like, there's Lily, who's really good. There's Miguel, who's really good. There's Dragonov, who's really good. Zafina's alright. Ooh, fourth round. I would love to get some of these freaking little costume things here. So the character, character customization in this one was a lot more refined than it were in number five as well. I, I bothered with it more in this one because in um, second five it was more about, oh yeah, you can change the color of your, custom, your character. Which I did with a few characters, like I did with Steve, I changed his character to instead of like being white and brown, I think you change it to pure black. But like, um... Like with, like, with, um... I mean, instead of... No, I'm gonna really say that. So in Tekken 5, when you customize your characters, you can all change the colors, like I said, with Steve. And then you can also like give them like little props, like a guitar, maybe a ball or something like that. But in this, you get to, you can change their entire costume completely, which is fantastic. Like, say, for example, when you're playing as Panda, I mean, Kuma, you can give him a t-shirt if you want to, or give him big-ass boots. Now, this fight is very fucking hard. Extra round. I have managed to beat it, but it is very fucking difficult. You want to, like, avoid shit, because it doesn't, it takes a lot of fucking hits from you. Which is, it's hard because it does like laser attacks, which you've got to be careful of. Which is the ones that really defeat you. And no matter, well, to be honest, I'm actually kicking its ass and it's not fucking doing anything, so. I'm actually quite alright with this, which is fantastic. The rushes is what you need to be careful of, the laser beams, the rockets, like that. The laser beam is probably what she's going to do, oh shit. Ah, oh, I can't avoid all the rockets, see? I won't get angry at Nancy because it's only a bonus round. You don't have to do it. Get ready for the next I just time. like doing it. And then there should be Jin. Yeah. And then after this is the final fight. So last three, so the intermission is ba basically near the fucking end. So that's alright. Oh no, so there is nine levels. Unless you include the bonus, but I don't know. This is what I like about this, you see, the difficulty does go higher and it shows you that the difficulty goes higher by the little symbols in the top right corner. What is that, a Vichuso? I don't fucking know. Oh, we shouldn't get rid of my freaking char um, character ranks in Tekken 5 because that shit was high on one of them, on some of them. I was really high on some of them. You'll get to see how high I am, I'm, am with some of them on Tekken 2 when I get to it, but that's 41 days away. <laughs> if you exclude today, then 40 days away. A month and a half, basically. Now, the final fight is... Azriel? Azazel. No, not Azriel. Azazel's fucking nowhere near Azriel. I don't think with an A and a Z. And it's very fucking hard. Because it, it doesn't bullshit you sometimes. But, well, it can, but... It's not as difficult. And plus, it's got less bullshit maneuvers. It's still got some bullshit maneuvers, but not... Like, oh yeah, by the way, we'll just do this one move and kill you in one hit, thanks, bye. Yeah, we don't have that. And... Oh, them fucking bats of his... God's sake. Continue. It looks cool, because it looks like it's, it's an Egyptian evil god of some kind. So I don't like a crew where I can't change his costume, it's not fair. I want to change his costume. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not, don't know if I'm going to get an ending after this, but I have unlocked all the endings in the game. Well, that actually even doing arcade mode. I did a few arcade modes because I needed money to buy some coffee and shit. And plus, I did the scenario mode more than anything as well. So when you do more fights, or was it? No, I did the um, ghost mode uh, instead actually. And with ghost mode, all you do is like get money, you level up. I'm getting my fucking ass kicked. It's not good, not good at all. All right. See, this is. This is what's good about this. Some characters can defeat Azazel really, really easily. But then, also at the same time... 
like Kuma, for example, is a little bit slow and is not that much of a hard hitter unless he uses his ass and grab, but you can't grab against the Zizel. So it's kind of hard being the bear. So I probably might have the same problem with Panda. But because I've not played Tekken 6 in a very long time, I might just have to be getting used to it again. Considering being coping with the fucking slow ass characters in Tekken 5. And he does like to block a lot, like all characters in this fucking game. And he does like to back away from me. But. Oh well. We'll, we'll manage it, we'll manage it one day, you know? It's the fucking goddamn bat move that I don't like. Out of all of them, it's the bat move that pisses me off. Because. He doesn't look like he's hitting me, but it's the... Oh, it's the... St is it bats? It's either bats or stones. I'm not 100 fucking percent sure. Continue. Anyway, I'm gonna have to try this now for serious times. Get ready time for, for that cut attack. jump! See, I can record this as long as I fucking want because I'm using my Xbox 360 to play this now. So, I'm not gonna be having problems with... Um, audio not link lining up, since that's my own personal thing. Well, it's not personal, but... It's my own error if it doesn't get recorded properly. There's no daft fucking echo either in the room, so it's fantastic. Fight. Oh, I get extra pennies now! Sweet! Oh, I might be doing it next to get extra pennies this time. That's never, a, like, a guaranteed thing, though. But... Oh, yeah, now I'll start losing as soon as I start talking. Or is it just one of that bullshit? Oh, yeah, he goes red, so he's in his rage state, isn't he? So he can do more damage and fucks me over because I can't get up! Oh! Aww! That would have been amaze balls. Give me, give me the reds. Give me the reds, you bitch. Oh, one of the reds. Fuck. I'm doing great. Damn it. Oh well. All right, guys. This is my last attempt on fighting the Zazel. Um, as you can tell, I don't actually get that rage with it, with this game, because I just love it too much. Not as bad as much as Tekken Tag 2. I fucking love Tekken Tag 2. Uh, I've been recording this for 20 minutes, I think. I don't think I've said that. I'm not 100% sure. And it's pushed... It's not pushing me to my limits. It's just, you know... Pushing me... To, not, not pushing me too far, but like... It's going on too long. Kind of thing. And they really do need to move on to other stuff as well, so... I'm just like... Obviously, I said... So, they, so... Get ready for the next this time. now is going to be my last try. If I don't do it, then I'm just going to move on and show you Kuma's ending, because... I'm probably going to lose out on some money, but all the freaking money I probably gained from losing, maybe? And the bonus 550, 10,000, I think it was? And the bonus 10,000 coins as well are probably going to help and benefit on all that. So, I guess it's just time to say goodbye to Azazel now then, because I can't do anything about it and I can get it down really quick. Can I not? There we go. Four o'clock. Okay, we're just giving it some. Just giving me a few minutes. So I'll just go show you the ending now. Then, considering it was quite annoying there, but I didn't lose my temper, which I'm all right with. Uh, not right. No, it is this one, yeah. Records? No, it's not records. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's a gallery. Movie theater ending for. Kuma. Kuma ending. Here we go. So this is what will happen if after a beat of Zazel. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Huh. Four characters in one ending. Anyway guys, that is going to be the end of the first video for Tekken 6. We played as Kuma just then as you obviously could tell because of the black bear instead of a brown bear, but either way, 
Anyway, guys, and as always, this is Rick's Light, signing out.